welcome back everybody as we look ahead to Valentine's Day. Love is in the air and soon to be. Yes. All right. And soon to be in your stomach. We're talking some passion potions wow. today. So Chef Extraordinaire Wita Michaels from Holly Hill Inn joins us now. And Every other restaurant you exactly, <laughs> exactly. She is the expert. Great to have you with us Good today. I am so thrilled to be here. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I wore my red scarf in honor of the occasion. Yes, so. look at you. You're so festive. <laughs> okay, so what are we talking about? Today? Well, aphrodisiacs are a, a passionate subject of mine. Oh. And uh, every year for 17 years, we've done an aphrodisiac dinner uh -huh. at Holly Hill Inn. But don't Google that because oh, it's dangerous googling <laughs> aphrodisiacs. But, True. So, but the aphrodisiac no, I, I got to. <laughs> I know, he's, he's doing it now. Kind of like, yeah. Yeah. The aphrodisiacs that I like to talk about are really related to food history and like myth and mythology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I brought some of the ingredients here that you could take a look at tonight. One of the things in the 1800s, so asparagus, we call it the uh, king of the aphrodisiac mm. vegetable kingdom, because you can look at the shape of the asparagus and yeah. kind of understand why, but they would give this to bridegrooms. Uh -huh. Morning, you're going to get ready, going to get married. If you're uh, the groom, you're eating a whole breakfast of, uh, you know, of asparagus. Really? really? Same French culture, like onions, were, start, were, were thought to really restore potency. So a lot of our aphrodisiac ingredients, they're about fertility and potency. And mm -hmm. So a guy would eat an onion? Well, they eat onion soup. So oh. you go on your honeymoon next morning wow. after the wedding night, bowls and bowls of onion soup. And garlic. Double for the that same with a thing. French kiss. <laughs> Man, what you a about. morning. <laughs> so, Thank you. Potency. Oh. <laughs> and rice is, you know, a symbol of fertility. Of course, we think about throwing rice at weddings. Yeah. And a lot of times in Asian cultures, couples will share a rice bowl. So that's how they announce their engagement. And then we have saffron. There's lots of spices like cori this is cardamom, saffron that are uh, like from, there's a, a, a book called The Perfumed Garden written, you know, hundreds of years ago that was a, a love manual, ancient Arabic love manual. And mm -hmm. there would be all kinds of different spice concoctions. Mm -hmm. Because remember, for in antiquity, food was medicine. We still think about that, but that's they didn't go and ha they didn't have Viagra, right? right. They had to right. figure out what's going in their food world is going to add to their potency or add to uh -huh. their fertility. Yeah, eggs are the ultimate symbol of fertility. So, like we have a meringue cookie here. Of course, we all know about chocolate. Uh -huh. Like all the all the chemicals, all the molecules in chocolate you know make you feel they they imitate the feelings you have when you're in love that's like why we love chocolate yes. the endorphins right yes the exact same feelings pine nuts pomegranate seeds even carrots and and a lot of times aphrodisiac fruits and vegetables had to do with their shape and how they looked and that's how they right. became aphrodisiac in in quality or that's what that's how ancient people would say oh that looks like uh -huh. something, something familiar and that must be an aphrodisiac <laughs> or oh. i haven't seen that forever <laughs> <laughs> Something like a you know, but we have a send your letters <laughs> to L Cruz at mm -hmm. WLEX.tv. I, knew this was TV. Just, I we knew the subject. Way. I wasn't sure he held back for so long. <laughs> <laughs> we made it almost through this whole segment. Oh my god! Well, gosh. so we have on Wednesday at Holly Hill this beautiful seven-course Valentine's menu, but we're also doing aphrodisiacs this weekend and next weekend. So if you miss out on Wednesday. Um, come either this Friday or Saturday. You can have the whole aphrodisiac menu. We can have a short version so, of it so or a long version of it. These ingredients nice. are prepared a certain way and then maybe a little explainer. These add more, yes. Okay. And we explain everything like avocados are mm. big aphrodisiacs. Right. All kinds of seafood because Aphrodite, she was the goddess of love right. and she rose sure she from was. the sea in an yeah. oyster shell. <laughs> you know, so fresh oysters. Uma Thurman. Yeah, well, yeah. In the movie, in the she, movie. Was, she played <laughs> Aphrodite. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we, we tell a lot about, we explain the lore about yeah. uh, behind the ingredients, but there's a lot of, a lot of fresh seafood that, and, and beef and that kind of thing, a little coffee, a little chocolate, a little licorice, all Sounds those. So, so good. they want to make reservations, what do they do? You can go to hollyhillin.com okay. and see the whole menu, or you can call 859-846-4732. And we have live jazz this Saturday and Sunday uh, at brunch. That's a real aphrodisiac. <laughs> there's uh, yes. a little music, a little champagne. And on, and on the drive home, Teddy Pendergrass. Mm. <laughs> so check out hollyhillin.com. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. All right, see you guys in a minute. Head of the day next.